We report from the 2015 FIA Awards, CEOs sleeping rough, and a look at the use of lie detectors within the insurance industry. I'm Sarah Bassett, and this is Risk SA TV News. Last night, the biggest names in the financial services industry competed for top honors at the 17th Annual Financial Intermediaries Association Awards held at the Santon Convention Center. Here's what the winners had to say. And the winner is... I think the secret of success lies in consistency. We try to do the same thing every day, and it in a way that really works well in the industry. It's a combination of strategies. Obviously, it's service. We do train. You know, we do aim to please before anything else. But um, we do try and be innovative as well and be understanding. Uh, so it's a combination of things. And just really hard work and, and, and service. And the winner is Discovery Lab. For us, it's really great. We've, we've won this award now for the sixth year in a row, and, and really it's inspirational to us that we, we know we're giving the right products and the right services to the intermediaries as well as obviously our clients. So I think it really does mean a lot to, uh, a lot to us being recognized by intermediaries as providing what they need to be able to give their clients. Alan Gray is, like I said before, steadfastly focused on long-term wealth creation for clients and doing what's right for our clients and always being the first thing in our minds. You know, you, you, you do a lot of work, you put in a lot of effort um, in terms of servicing the intermediary, servicing the market and trying to improve and then an award like this comes along and it kind of proves that you are on the right path. So it really means a lot to us. Well, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, very humbling, obviously, but also it's something that Jasmine has been working quite hard for over a number of years, and there's so many people that we'd like to thank. But most of all, the, the brokers that uh, stood with us, the, the intermediaries that, that's offering such a really valuable service to the industry. And um, it's, it's, again, very humbling and uh, very rewarding. To, uh, to get this uh, achievement and I think the, the, the biggest uh, commitment out of this is to say thank you for your vote of confidence. But... CEOs and senior executives from some of South Africa's most prominent companies will take to the streets later this month to raise awareness for homeless people in the country. The 702 Sleep Out initiative will see some of the industry's top minds spend one night on a cold pavement with only a piece of cardboard, sleeping bag and bowl of soup to carry them through. Luca Vraca has more. What began in Australia 10 years ago has quickly spread around the world, and now South Africa participates in its own CEO sleepout. The event aims to raise awareness and support for homelessness, in particular for vulnerable children. South Africa's industry leaders hope to raise 25 million rand in one night on the 18th of this month, with each of the 250 participants challenged to raise 100,000 rand for the event beneficiary, Girls in Boys Town. The participants will have to brave a midwinter high felt night that can reach sub-zero temperatures with nothing but a sleeping bag and some cardboard for shelter. As this is an experimental event which hopes to show us here is what it's like to sleep rough, the only food that they will have to eat is soup and a few rolls of bread. The event will go ahead regardless of the weather, so no excuses. Those hoping to warm themselves up with the swig of their favorite malt will be sadly disappointed. Alcohol is off limits. You will be searched for hip flasks. A strong contingent from South Africa's biggest insurance companies will be attending, including Aon's new CEO Terence Williams, Asipol CEO Rudolf Schmidt, Yuri Adria from Marsh, Discovery and Discovery Health CEOs Adrian Gore and Jonathan Brunberg, as well as Hollard and AIG Managing Directors Pierre Geyer and Wayne Abraham. Luca Vicar, Risk SA TV News, Cape Town. Fraud and deception remains a major concern for the financial services industry. Some feel that lie detection testing might curb the problem. However, such testing has an equal share of supporters and detractors. Dominic Ace reports. An ex-police officer in the United States faces a possible 20-year prison sentence for teaching those with something to hide how to fool the lie detector test. 69-year-old Douglas Williams pleaded guilty on four counts of obstruction of justice and mail fraud after setting up a business which provides techniques to fool standard lie detector tests. While his company, Polygraph.com, had managed to stay below the radar of law enforcement for some time, 
Williams landed himself in trouble for helping a number of clients who reportedly needed help lying to various state departments. Aside from DVDs and other instructional materials, Williams also offered in-person training sessions priced at around $1,000 to $5,000. Williams' website tagline reads, Get properly prepared and always pass your polygraph test, or don't and you will fail it 50% of the time. I hand you over to Angelique Edwards with this week's events roundup. We look forward to the insurance bootcamp taking place next week with focus on business interruption. The roadshow kicks off on the 9th of June in Cape Town, taking us to Durban and Johannesburg. Risk SA TV News will bring you in-depth coverage of the event. The annual FPI convention is happening on the 24th and 25th of June at Sandton Convention Center. Speakers include Andrew Bradley from Old Mutual Wealth, Rene Hobler from MediaWeb, Candice Burt from Simplified, and Dr. Adrian Saville. Make sure you diarize the ECOX charity auction on the 18th of June at Cape Point Vineyards and IG's Midwinter Rave next Friday at Movida in Johannesburg. Join the conversation online by following us on Twitter and Facebook. That's it from me. That brings us to the end of this week's Risk SA TV news. Click on the subscribe button below and don't miss out on any of the video updates. Catch you next week.